What up, Screamers? GamerKid here. Now, I have a question for you all. What is the best Scream movie? I'll tell you that in this video, but first we gotta go through the other four. Alrighty, firstly, this one may come as a shocker. Hey, you gotta have a sequel! You'll get a lot of hate for this statement, but I think Scream 2 is the worst. But I'm still probably gonna call this video great to best, because if I'm being honest, all the Scream films are beautifully crafted. But with Scream 2's huge runtime, that left us with some unnecessary scenes. Scenes like... Hey, I think I love you, so what am I so afraid of? I'm afraid that I'm not sure of. I love there is no cure for. I think I love you, isn't that what life is made of? And then we like have Derek say he loves Sydney and give her his letters and then boom you can still have the hazing that leads to Derek's death without that cringy scene but to have a very high status award I think it has the best killer besides one other killer that I'll get to later in this video and that killer being Mickey because Mrs. Voorhees was good and Pamela's if I'm being honest, a rip off of that. But neither of them come close to Mickey. <laughs> Overall, from a 1 to 10 score, I'd probably say 7.5. It would have been a except. I think I love you, so what am I so afraid of? <laughs> I hate that scene. Fourth place, I have to give it to Scream 3. Oh wait, no, that's a 6 better. You know what's funny? I actually thought for the first time viewing that Scream 3 was the whole best in the franchise. Clearly, after my first rewatch of it, that opinion has changed. I mean, it went up by three rankings. <laughs> Scream 3, three rankings. Yeah, that's not funny. Personally, it feels like that if Scream 3 was a comedy, It'd be very good because it's at like a scary movie level. I mean, it makes fun of horror movies, just like scary movie. It has ghost face, just like scary movie. It's more of a comedy horror, just like scary movie. And it's confusing like scary movie. But where credit is due, the statement may sound crazy, but I do think that the killer in this movie, has the best motive. So it's kind of funny looking back at the series where we thought, this is a loreless, good old slasher. But then we watch this movie and we hear this. Roman Bridger, director. And brother. But it is confusing when in three seconds, a killer goes from point A around a whole house to point B. And that could have only been possible if there were two killers. And in this movie, there's only one. Horror movies, specifically slashers, don't really like logic. So I'm not too surprised because they want to scare the audience. They do not want the audience to think, oh, this movie has logic. So for number three, I'd say scream. 2022. I highly doubt that tricked any of you. Only the reason this is in fourth or fifth is, well, because, yeah, it's because the characters feel like the characters from the only other movie in this franchise that is called Scream. Personally, I'd just say the characters in this movie are actually better versions of the old characters. Mindy is just a smarter and more clever. Randy Chad, though, is his own character, which I obviously like. Wes is his own character, which I obviously like. You have the legacy characters. Um, and yeah, legacy characters are cool. And I wish it was, um, I wish it honestly was Gail, but they finally, after a long time, 
killed a legacy character. Oh wait, no, they did that with Randy. Oh wait, no, they did that with. G Never mind. <laughs> oh wait, no, they did that with Cotton. Had more funny meta moments, like I don't know when James A. Janice from Dead Meat was covering Stab Eight. He's like. Why do you call it stab? Just call it stab eight. When all actuality, scream 2022 should just be called, would and should, in my opinion, be called scream five. I like how at the party they say four west, but in the end credits, just to make sure, they put four west as a little nod to West Craven. Salute to the dead director. He was a great man. Alrighty, in second place, we have Scream. Wait, no, not Scream 4. Scraform. Why do I always mess that up? It is Scraform. Yes, the second best movie in the whole franchise is literally called Scraform. Or you can go in the boring, non-funny way and just call it Scream 4. But like I said, that's boring and not funny. Personally, first up, I think it has the best killer. And no, not Charlie. Charlie sucks. He's the worst killer. And he, well, at first we all thought he killed Kirby, but we all know he didn't. But he, how dare he attack probably one of the better gal pals of the series. No, I'm talking about Jill for one reason. She's a great psychopath. Just like Billy Loomis. They both have the audacity to kill their parents. And she's most likely to get away with it, but she wouldn't get away with it for long because knowing Jill, she'll probably be like, oh, hey, you know how I got here? Because I framed, um, I framed my killer partner and my sick boyfriend. And you know what? Don't tell the police, or I'll do the same to you. Yeah, well, Jill, they'll probably tell the police. I still like Jill because she's smart, crafty, and a great manipulator, just like Billy Loon. She's also the most psychotic, like I mentioned before. Actually fooling Sydney. The one thing that she doesn't copy off Billy Loomis, because Sydney thought it was Billy Loomis the whole time. But Jill literally fooled Sydney the whole movie. And she would have probably, if she let Sydney live, fool her for the rest of her life if she hadn't, you know, taken off the mask. I like Gail. She's probably the finest in this movie. And I don't mean on looks. Scream Tube, definitely the best. <gasps> Wait, no, Bangs. Yes, Bangs was beautiful. You knew it. I knew it. We all freaking knew it. Scream 1996, of course. Definitely not 2022. That's way too confusing, but either way. You knew it, I knew it. We all freaking knew it. Got best score, best gal pal. Great killers. Great comedy, but not at a level of scary movie. Best lines, famous opening scene. Best horror film buff. And Sydney at her finest. Overall, obviously, the best movie in the franchise and the best movie I've ever watched in my whole life. So that's my ranking. Tell me yours in the comments and be, and be sure to not answer the phone. I'll be right back. That's also a death wish. But in this series, it's answering the phone. Goodbye, Sydney.